y'all let's talk about it okay because look at this volume hey loves welcome back to my channel my name is kayla and if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos to come today i'm going to be doing a review on the con air blow dryer that also has a diffuser attachment that goes to it and it looks like this it's from the curl collective and i came across the diffuser attachment first at target and i was like okay cool i got it in the type 4 coily um hair and it basically says it's the coily hair diffuser that helps create and define 3c to 4c curl patterns so you guys know i kind of categorize myself as like the 3c 4a range um so i was like okay cool definitely want to get this to try so i initially bought this first but then i didn't realize that it's only created exclusively for the conair curl collective hair dryer now this hair dryer comes with a concentrator and a volume pick included or like a nozzle with a comb as we would call it so they also have different diffuser types they also have one that's for like um curly hair and their definition for the curly hair diffuse attachment is like 2a to 3b so this is really cool i want to see if it's going to help dry your hair faster it says it has thermal aluminum uh, aluminum <laughs> aluminum aluminum interior that helps to dry your hair quickly so let's see if it's going to dry my hair quickly right now it fell <laughs> right now my hair is about i want to say like 80 percent dry because i did kind of walk around the house and let it air dry a little bit but that diffusing process is going to you know get a little bit more volume and fully dry it because the inside is wet so just so you guys can see i have my edges tied down right now I always like to do that as I diffuse my hair just to keep the edges locked in place with edge control. And I'm getting my roots touched up this weekend, so don't mind that. But this is how it's looking. Let's diffuse it. All right, so I'm going to put the blow dryer on hot and high heat. For me personally, I don't really care that, you know, it's too hot or not because I want it to dry all the way one and it has thermal protection and honestly if you feel like the heat is going to damage your hair put some uh you know heat protector on it for for me i don't care i want my hair to be fully dry and i want it to be big so hot heat and high speed now my diffuser technique has changed a little bit i like to go in and basically hover the blow dryer around my root areas first instead of manipulating the hair with the actual diffuser attachment i like doing this because it dries the roots faster um and just making sure the roots are dry first actually minimizes the amount of frizz that your hair will have once it is completely dry so before i go in with the whole scrunching technique i definitely just use my hands to lift it up in certain areas to make sure i'm getting the roots all the way around my head and making sure that it's pretty much dry and then after that then i go in and start with the whole scrunching technique i like to move my hair around too flopping it on you know each side um, and scrunching it with my hands manually too just to kind of aid in the volume but also moving it around just kind of lets it have a lot of movement and body to the hair i feel like if you just diffuse it in one set way it just kind of makes it dry and set in that one way and we want to make sure it has a lot of movement especially at the roots because as it you know goes on throughout the days your hair is going to get bigger so i just like to try to make sure i get as much volume as i can on the first day or the first go round of drying it or diffusing it y'all let's talk about it okay because look at this volume now i did go and pick my hair out a little bit but my hair is pretty much 100 percent dry and i feel like this blow dryer definitely dried my hair a lot faster than my other blow dryer attachment i feel like it's because it has this dome shape with the actual spikes on it i don't know if you guys can like see this but on the spikes there's like little holes for the air to come through and then the dome itself has vents in it so that and compared to my other diffuse attachment that i usually use doesn't have like that dome so it's kind of like the air is just kind of you know going whichever way and then like on the teeth there are no holes for the air to come out it's literally just coming out actually yeah it's it's really just only coming out the vents in the inside 
So, this is a game changer. I will say that. Now, I feel like it gets a little bit hotter than my other blow dryer as well. Um, the fact that it has like the thermal protection in it and it claims to help define um, your curls. I'm going to give it that. I don't know if it's, you know, define my curls. The curls are already defined. But in terms of it drying the hair, yeah. Definitely did that. The volume is definitely there. Love that. And in comparison to my other blow dryer attachment, I will say that this go around, it took me roughly 20 to 30 minutes to um, diffuse my hair. Compared to my other blow dryer, I feel like it takes a good 30 to 40 minutes. And that's really just, you know, me making sure the roots are dry. Like, when I say my hair is 100% dry, I mean the inside is dry too. Not just the volume and outside, but all the hair. So, I will definitely say this is definitely worth the purchase. You need this in your stash. The fact that the blow dryer itself comes with a concentrator nozzle and a hair pick or attachment that has combs on it. I'm pretty sure they mean to use that for, like, you know, volumizing your hair a little bit more or picking it out more. I personally don't do that. Cause I don't really care for it to be that stretched. Cause I know my hair is gonna get bigger throughout the days anyway. But this Curl Collective Blow Dryer by Conair, Chef's Kiss, definitely worth it. I'm gonna link it in the uh, description box down below for you guys to check out. Curl action up close again. It's giving. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.